I'm Rush Tahara from Keys to Fitness here in sunny Mexico on Lake Chapala, south of Guadalajara. And I wanted to uh, show you a few things that I'm teaching my seniors who are anywhere from 64 right now to 83. I've had clients as old as 86 and some people in their 50s. But the majority of people I have are over 70 and many of them have been with me for over three years and they want to do something new uh, every now and then and so I'm trying to teach them uh, supersets and drop sets because when we do say bicep curls um, just doing 10 bicep curls like this um, you know and then you stop you do uh, another exercise and you come back and do another set so they, I want to ramp up their uh, strength training so I'm teaching things that bodybuilders would normally do but I uh, you know, judge it based on their strength levels and use the appropriate weights. So I'll show you uh, two of the things that I do. One is the superset first, and I'm going to do three exercises. You can do two or three, and you do them normally without much rest, if any at all, and to power the, to, uh, you know, to tire the muscle out as quickly as you possibly can. And that uh, it stimulates muscle, muscle growth. So I'll show you the three. The first one is the hammer curl, and this gets the bicep and one portion of the forearm. I have them do a bunch of these, depending upon how strong they are, so I'll use a certain weight for each person. Then after I've got them doing maybe 10 to 16, sometimes 20, if it's a light weight, then I have them turn their hands around and do what you would normally consider a bicep curl with a dumbbell. And I'll have them do a bunch of these. And then they're going to start to get pretty fatigued because we're hitting the same muscle even though it's in a different fashion. And then when they're pretty close to failure, not right to failure, but when they're getting pretty tired, I have them put one weight down. And then I have them do an isolation curl. And this I have them do until maybe one or two short of failure. So they're pretty exhausted at this point, but it's really tiring the muscle out. And it's going to stimulate more growth than you would if you were doing just one set of a bicep curl. Unless you're using heavy weights, which I don't really do with seniors. So then I'll switch hands. And you'll notice I have a wrist guard here. I don't have a wrist problem, but I just wanted to show it to you. If you have issues with your wrist or carpal tunnel and you're weak there, buy one of these. I get them from China. They run three to five dollars, but probably in a store in North America, it'd probably be seven to ten dollars. So if you can find them on AliExpress, buy them. So that's a superset. That's a, a form of a superset. I am back again. Uh, my battery in my camera ran out so I had to go recharge it and I'll do the second portion of this video showing how to do drop sets which I do use for all my seniors uh, that are in the 70s and 80s right now so I'll show you exactly what it's all about um, basically I'll use this for a bicep curl and I'll do bicep curls these are 10 pounds normally I'll work with Clients that I have that are maybe in their 70s and 80s, they'll be using 8s, 5s, and maybe 2 and a halfs. These are 10s. So I'll have them do a certain number of reps until they're getting a bit fatigued. And when they start complaining, I put them down and I'll give them a lower weight. In this case, it's an 8 pound going down from the 10. And I'll have them do as num a number of reps until they're pretty tired with this. And I don't go to ex complete exhaustion like I might do for myself. I've already done a very, very hard bicep workout earlier today. Okay, I'll put those down and then I'll take fives. So the progression was ten, eights, and fives. And I'll have them go as far as they can with this last weight until they again get quite fatigued and you put it down when they're complaining and that's your drop set 
So you can do that with pretty much well any exercise, triceps, um, shoulders, back, um, chest. So, you know, you just try it out, see if it works for you. But if you're getting tired of just doing the same old bicep curls, 10 reps with a fairly good weight, and then you wait two minutes and you start again, you do another 10, maybe it just gets too repetitious. So this is kind of a way to up the ante, um, put a little more stress on the, the muscles that you're working, and uh, you probably end up getting stronger and probably have a little more definition. So um, nice uh, that you came and visited me, and we'll see you again sometime. Take care.